Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Michael B. I hope you are doing great today. If you're new to this channel, please consider to subscribe and or leave a comment. And while we are at it, smash that like button and the notification bell too. I will surely bring you more videos on simulation, survival and strategy games every week. If you've been here before, welcome back! Well hello there fellow farmers, welcome back to PB County, welcome back to update number 14. This time around we got 3 new mods, we got 10 updated mods, and then of course we got the assets and the map itself. So 15 in total, pretty excited, pretty awesome, I'm happy to be back. So uh, one of the updates is concerning him, that is why we got uh, our little uh, case started harvesting uh, the hemp, and uh, I have... Uh, gotten and uh, bought one more so we need to get that from the shop just a second all right let's get this one going as well so what's up this time well first of all we of course got the map updated and we also got the assets file updated we got the updates with the vodka factory and i believe it's uh, the display and uh, the light kit needs to be installed then we got an update for the lizard auto loader i think it has something to do with this hemp uh hemp bale or um, hemp module, I'm not quite sure. Um, then we got some updates with the Silver Star, I believe it's the animal trailer. Um, then we got exciting news, a processed storage building. Oh yes, very much looking forward to build that. Uh, then we got the module storage and that is a little shit for the hemp. That's why we are harvesting hemp because we're gonna test that out. Of course we are. Then we got pecan orchards. Yes, we got a pecan orchard and we also got a cocoa orchard. Very exciting. Um, got a little update for the food storage and we got some updates for the power modules, the diesel, the coal and the bio. Let's dive into uh, some building and uh, hopefully when all this is done we should have uh, gotten this field uh, harvested. All right, so let's take a look at the building. First of all, we'll find the building in the category placeables on the warehouses, and we need to scroll all the way down here to assess processed storage, 280,000 euros, and it holds a lot of processed storage goods. Um, can't really see what it is, but it's at least that's some oil, vegetable oil and hard uh, fat, hard oil, I think it is. And there's some cans of bits and bobs, mostly in connection with the latest Dole. I think I can see the Dole logo there, right? So for the Dole and for the uh, vegetable oil factory, we got, uh, we got a place to store it now, processed storage. That's pretty awesome, that's really cool. And where do we need to put that down? Well, what do you think? On this map, I tried to collect all the storage facilities just in one spot. And, well, that's of course, uh, is giving some lag, but it's really nice to have uh, all the storage just built in one place. And as you see there, the construction storage is just on the other side, so it didn't take that long to uh, haul all the things that it needed. And it needs the usual things. Um, we only need to shove in concrete now. Everything else should have been... Uh, brought over so it's 20,000 rebars and 10,000 epoxy and so on and so forth nothing major just a, just a normal um, resource usage for storage facilities but uh, yeah we need some concrete and we got our concrete truck here filled up with 100,000 units so that should do it And yeah, you can see it's a little bit laggy down here. What is 16 frames? Yeah. Struggling. My poor graphic cards. There we go. Oh, that's not much. Only 40,000. All right. There we go. And yep, everything should be ready. Ready for production. There we go. Are you ready for a little magic? So in three, two, one, go! Ta-da! There we go. Look at that. PV processed foods. So what we got here? SL apple, strawberry. Okay. Uh, PG cauliflower, cranberry, raspberry, carrot, carrot, cabbage, lettuce, veg oil, and veg solids. I do believe it's for the new stuff, right? I think so. 
There is our harvester. Hello. Now we're gonna turn around, right? We're gonna tip over and fall down. Well, the other one went around. Oh, good, 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 good. Right, what do we got here? Sliced potatoes, olive oils, canned tomato, canned corn, canned berry, cherry, MC original, MC four cheese, MC spirals, and MC with cheddar. Um, yeah, that was uh, from the craft, the last four, right? Then we should be able to store everything. That is pretty awesome. Right. Okay, so that's that build. That's most excellent. Let's take a look at the uh, the orchards. Here we are, the orchards area. I uh, went ahead and I uh, refilled or restocked. Refilled? Restocked? Every orchard. So everything should be running out flat. Um, the two new ones we got is just down here. It's the cooker production and the pecan production. And I can see pecan is almost full. That's lovely. And so is the cockle. Okay. Shall we spawn something and uh, try out our robots? See if they can do the trick. Um, how is it? It's in here. It's out here. We're going to spawn, right? It's so, been so long. I can't remember. Um, cookers. Maximum 61. Yeah, 61 pellets. Boom. Let me spawn in there. And the good old days. We had to just manually shove them in over there. Hand by hand. Piece by piece. Nope. Not anymore. You're running a little fast, my friend. Here we got a robot. And we just click. There we go. Robots deployed. Robots deployed. And they should do the job. Right. Next one. Let's go take a look at the uh, piggins. The same dealio. Step outside. Spawn everything. 61 pellets. Yes. Gook. And go over here to our robots. And deploy. And then we just wait. There we go. Awesome. How much was that? Let's go and take a look in here. Yeah, that's not much. How much can we spawn? Nothing. Nothing. So, oh, we have to wait. Ten pellets. That'll be fine. I'll take it. Thank you. Hey, look at that. Coca. Hello? Did you just cheat me? Hello? I feel a little bit cheated. What about the, uh, the pecan? Pecan? Yes. 30,000 units. Alright. 10 pellets. Boom. Now it says 10,000. So 20,000 units should be here. Hmm. Who stole my pecan nuts? The good thing we have another orchard down here, so I'm gonna do exactly the same. Just to test out that it's not me who's gone crazy. Not more than usual. Olives. Let's spawn 63 pellets. Right. And we're gonna do a collection by using the robots. So let's see, I activated these ones here, right, cherry, let's look at some cherries, right, maximum 10 pellets again, all right, do 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 do, hey, cherries, good, all right, well, it seems like somebody's stolen my nuts, that sounds so wrong. Sounded better in my head. Well, somebody stole my nuts. There's no cocoa nuts. There's no pecan nuts. Feel slightly disappointed. Right, let's try the same thing with the olives. Ten pellets as well. Yes, please. And we got olives. Hey. Huh. Well, I guess the nuts are invisible. Just for now, at least. Because they do an exact same thing. And they want to spawn, and they exist as a material, as a resource, but they don't show. 
Hmm. Well, then, so be it. Oink. Yeah. So I'm just gonna unload them here because if we are lucky, then next time around it's gonna come an update. Hopefully, they will show, and then we can store it. Perhaps. All right. Well. That was the orchards and that was the uh, storage and the hemp is still being harvested. There are some bales I can see. We can go pick up the bales, can we not? Yes, we can. Then we can drive them to the storage. Let's do that. What a brilliant idea. Thank you. I think we can, can have three on the flatbed, so let's see if there's a specific setting for it. All right, cotton modules. There we go. So it is cotton modules. Okay. Not storage modules, cut modules. Alright. Good to know. Well, you're producing a lot. What do we got here? Six already. And possibly six on the other side as well. Because I'm more or less started both uh, harvesters at the same time. Hmm. Alright. Let's go check out the storage, shall we? I placed it next to the uh, lavender and the cotton and the tobacco. Storages just here on the right. There we go. Well, we have the lavender, we have the tobacco, and we have the uh, cotton. And this one should be hemp. So let's see. I remember last time they were a little bit tricky to uh, get in. That works perfectly. Very nice. Right. So we just uh, try to find the uh, spawn point, and uh, when it says open menu, press R. There we go, three bales, capacity 60 bales, yeah that's right. Right. Works perfectly. So I guess we'll just do a lot of hemp bales, transport them back and forth here. And uh, that's another glass. There is another glass, they are, if they are not popping up down at the shop they're popping up everywhere i swear this map concerning glasses glass sheets it's possessed it's possessed i tell you <sighs> all right so right let's uh, let's take a look at the vodka factory and the vegetable oil factory and the craft we fiddle around with last update you see you see what i said there's another one well, actually, that's the one from the last time. Hmm. I might need to clean up again. I already did one session before uh, I started the recording. Just went around and sold everything. Loose pallets and uh, apparently not all the sheets. Well, anyways, down here we took a little look last time around. What we filled up with the, uh, what was it, the flour and the bacon here. Got all the good stuff, the salt. And here's all the produce. Um, we got some, what is that? What is that French, French fries? What is it? Oh, that's the original curly swirly thingy. Yep, so we uh, we got a good, good, good amount of products around here. That's pretty awesome. And right here we got the uh, vegetable. Got some coconut. Got all the lovely stuff here. Everything is producing very nicely. We still got a lot of uh, products. Yes, we got. And in here is all the thingies. That's the, veg that's the vegetable oil, yes. And uh, yeah, that was the solid thing. I couldn't remember what it's called. Uh, it doesn't say. Let's try to find the menu. Uh, what is the icon? Icon. Icon. Oh yeah, the icon is over here. There we go. Right, closer. Uh, vegetable solids, that's what it's called. Yes, vegetable solids. So, we got enough. We got a lot of vegetable oil, so we can start bringing that down to our new storage. Hey, wonderful. That's awesome. Cool. So, the vodka factory. Oh yeah, I just need the truck because I had hoped for the uh, the height of the door or the entrance had been uh, adjusted. Uh, nope, not yet at least. So we can't still get in with the truck, but uh, I use this caterpillar instead. It's a little bit lower, so uh, water is no issue. And yeah, you see all these glass. Yeah, I really need to sell them. Hmm. Alright, so we need another light kit. 
because there were two light kits. There is two light kits that needs to be installed, so I just picked up one. And if you remember last time around, we uh, made sure that there was one display board and there was one light kit there. I had a little sneaky suspicion that we wanted to need two light kits, but uh, yeah, was not sure. Now I am. We need two. And oh yeah, there's also another cool thing that has been added to uh, to this. Um, so yeah, let's take the first light kit. It's just right here. Get that installed. Just like so. Boop. Oh. Well, let me get out of the truck and explain something to you. Will you get in? Thank you. Hey, we go. Look at that. It's so awesome. I really like this. This is so cool. Right. We still got the potatoes here. Everything else goes just next door, so to speak. But here, that wasn't the last time. Compost. That is really good thinking. That is really good thinking. We got a lot of compost. I love it. I love it. Because what do we have next door? We got orchards. Yay. What do orchards need? Compost. How cool is this? Huh? Good thinking. Good planning. Yeah, we got some, uh, what is it? The oranges. And I think it was uh, cherries, right? And how many oranges? Cherries. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what we needed for the vodka. And over here, we got. I think it was strawberries, strawberry, raspberries, and watermelons. Yeah, that's right. So local produce, as I uh, always suggest you do, so you don't have to haul stuff very, very far away. But local produce for the individual factories works for me. It's a pretty good idea, if you ask. You did? Oh, thank you. Right, let's uh, take a look in here. Yeah, that wasn't this place last time around. Now they're gone. Uh, we need to rebuild it. Let's take the second light kit and just shove it in there. Hey, up there. Cool. Excellent. Right. And display. You're going to come with me. You need to go to go there. All right. Hops. Yoink. And place gently. Ta da! Look at that. Yep, got 16% full. Okay, so it takes a sweet time to uh, produce, but um, I mean, we're not in a hurry, are we? I think we are, we are good to go. Um, can we take a little peek at how it's gonna look like? Orange vodka? Cranberry vodka, raspberry vodka, watermelon vodka. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So that was a nifty little update. I really like it. And we're gonna go uh, down to our storage facility, which is the other way. Yes. <laughs> And remember, if you got any questions or uh, comments or suggestions, then please let me know in the comment section. We'll be more than happy to uh, answer your questions. So, if my memory serves me right, the vodka needs to go here. Soup and beverages. Right, let's just take an extra look at all the fine products. Yep. Oh, watermelons. Yep. Raspberries. Oranges and cherries. That is so pretty awesome. Really like it. Really like it. Right. There we go. So they're stored. Perfect. So what else do we need down here? Not much cherry wheat. Oh, I didn't bring cherry wheat down here yet. Oh. Well, there are so many things. Why does it sound like something has fallen over? Nope. You're just very noisy. Oh. Come a good way. You've come a good way. Right. I guess you have a lot of uh, bales up there. Right. Let's find a flatbed. And let's take care of some uh, hemp bales. Hemp modules. 
Yep, so those words, I thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And also next time then, please take care, stay safe and be cool. Bye!